Hola a todos y bienvenidos otra vez a mi canal. Hoy lo siento muchísimo, pero no voy a hablar en español porque estoy cansadísima y sí, no puedo. Así que I'm gonna speak in English. I'm just in the mood to make a video and sometimes this happens and when it first happened I was like oh I can't do it unless it's something related to Spanish and my little brother Liam was like you know what Shannon do what you want to do you're limiting yourself and I was like yes so that's what I'm doing today so basically I got a lot of people asking me to show my makeup routine and also this is weird to give advice on relationships so I'm just gonna do like a mixture of all of those things so if you want to see me just talking randomly to a camera for you know, however long this video turns out to be, stay tuned. Okay, so step one, clean off your face. Because if you're gonna do a makeup tutorial, you gotta have a clean face, you know? So just gotta clean it all off. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Ooh, that, there you go. Clean slate. That looks, that looks pretty good. Um, dry it off. Basically, I begin by applying oil volé. It's called Olé, and it's just um, it's some lotion that has sunscreen in it. Like, I've had bad experiences with the sun. Like, I'm pretty sure I'm going to get skin cancer. Like, I'm pretty sure that's the way I die. Um, so, to try to counteract that, I just, you know, put on some sunscreen every day. Some lotion sunscreen. And, um... It's soft, you give your face a little massage, and it smells like summer. So it's like a win-win situation. <laughs> okay, I'm <laughs> sorry. Oh God. Okay, so step two, step two. Basically, this is a palette of colors that I got from Forever 21. I don't know what it's called, I don't know what brand it is. It was just really cheap, so I um, I got it. I'm so sorry, I'm such a bad beauty vlogger. Also, I'm clearly going to be using the computer screen as a mirror because I don't have a mirror with me. And I also forgot my tripod at my friend Gloria's house, so I can't really, I'm just using my computer right now. It's a whole, it's a whole thing, whatever. Okay, so basically, a lot of beauty vloggers, while they, while they apply their makeup, oh my god, I'm so, so bad at this. While they apply their makeup, they talk and you know, they're like, yes, if you put this color in this crease, it'll make your eyes look bigger. Um, I don't really know what I'm doing exactly, so I'm gonna talk about other things while I'm applying my makeup instead of um, what exactly I'm doing. Like for, okay, see like this, why am I putting eyeshadow on my nose right there, right? The answer is because I saw it once in a beauty tutorial, I have no idea what it really does, except that I think it makes the, the bridge of your nose seem a little skinnier. Um, so I saw it once and now I just do it. like. That's the logic behind my makeup applications. So basically, yeah, so we're just gonna get nice, nice and in there with this um, orangey brown color. So I guess I'll start with the, um, with the relationship advice. So some people have been asking me if I have any tips on like flirting and basically getting your crush to notice you. I, all throughout high school, I didn't ever date. I had one kiss at like prom 10th grade. I was 16 when it, that was my first kiss. Um, I never dated anyone. I never had a boyfriend. Um, and I think I'm going to blame a lot of that on my inability to not to just flirt, but to interact with anyone that I thought was um, slightly attractive. Okay, so see, here's the thing. It's kind of hard. Sorry, going back to the makeup really quick. It's kind of hard to do this in the computer screen, but you know what? Um... <laughs> you guys get the up-close view of what I'm doing. So yes, I, the extent of my flirting in high school was smiling at someone. And even then, like, sometimes I was like, whoa. Like, if they looked at me and I was like, and then I was like, wait, wait. They'll know I like them if I smile too much. So I can't even smile too much, you know? So, like, my strategy was to basically like ignore them but even then I was like I can't ignore them like I can't be obviously ignoring them or else they'll know so I just have to like be nice to them but be like cool and reserved and that will make them fall in love with me yeah you can see my logic was kind of flawed but like I never I never put myself out there and I think that's one of my 
biggest regrets. Like it's worked out for me um, where I am like today. But I think if I could go back and I could redo high school, I would just put myself out there more and like tell someone when I like them. So anyways, what was I saying? So, okay, even though I didn't put myself out there, I still got rejected. Like that's how, that's how great my love life was. Um, I actually have a really sad rejection story for you if you guys want to hear it. Haha, <laughs> found it. Look at that little guy. So basically, the worst rejection story... Ah, oh, I just poked my eyeball. Okay. So basically, there we go. Under waterline has been complete. So basically, the worst rejection story, or the worst form of rejection that I feel like, I feel like I've had more, but this is the only one that comes to mind. I was at summer camp and I was working at a, as a counselor and I was helping this guy, his name was Sam, and me and Sam were in charge of the fishing docks. And I really liked Sam, like he was funny, he was cute, he was fun to hang out with, I like, I really liked him. And I thought I had made it obvious, I was like, oh, you know what, I smile at him like every day he practically, he has to know that, like, I'm madly in love with him. I don't think he did, but anyways, <laughs> so we were, we were, um, at the docks one day, and one of the campers, he goes up to Sam, and Sam's, like, helping him, like, take the fish off the, uh, off the hook, and the camper goes, oh, what's, um, what's the co, what's your co-counselor's name? What's her name again? And Sam looks at him and pauses for a second, and, like, I don't think either of them knew that I could hear them, but he pauses and he looks at this kid and goes, oh, that's Sophie. And I was like, what? Like, Sam doesn't know my name? Like, we've been working together for like a week now. Like, like we, we like put fish on hooks together. Like, come on, man. Um, yeah, Sophie. So that, that hurt. The sad thing was I never corrected him after that. I was like, well, he thinks I'm Sophie. I guess I'm Sophie then. Um, so for the rest of camp, some people called me Sophie and some people called me Shannon. That was confusing. Oh, and really quick, I am actually, so you see my eyebrows and I, I did tell you all that they were natural and they are, but I always like to add a little more. Why not, you know, make them blacker. I don't know why I'm speaking like that, I apologize. It's something about the way your face looks when you're up close. Oh, Jesus. What did I just do? What did I just do? No one knows. Okay. Um. So yeah, that's like my rejection story. So clearly I'm not the best at giving a flirtatious advice. I mean, I would encourage you guys to put yourselves out there, but again, I couldn't do it. So I can't really, it's very hypocritical of me to say, but I do feel like I regret not telling people how I felt. So anyways, the last touch to my makeup. See, this is actually my, so this is my normal day look. This is what I do every day. Um, so I actually put these, put my hair in these little like bun things, because what it does is it actually curls your hair. Um, yeah. So there you go. That's the extent of my video. I mean, I've done my makeup. This is my look. This is how I go out. This is how I spend my days. You see. Happy Halloween, by the way. Happy Halloween. So far, I can't make a decision of what I'm going to be. I've asked several group chats on the Instagram, the Whoops group chat and the Shukas group chat. Um, and I'm still torn. I'm still torn between Kim Possible and Hermione. Gracias por venir. Um, okay. Happy Halloween. Oh.